So we're at Academy looking for, they have dehydrators, but I need the like round flat thing that goes inside to make fruit leather. And they don't seem to have it. Grrr. I'm gonna have to do it in the oven instead of the dehydrator. Look one more place, but Academy doesn't seem to have it. Well, as we we'll look around, it's Academy. It's a pretty good store. Candy store. Fun store. Need new arrows, but Academy selection is awful. But I really like a browning chair, but think 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 think. That's the only not pink. It's gross. And that's pink. Pink, pink. Grrr. Hate that pink is on everything for women. Obviously, I have to come to their camping section. This is like a kidney candy store. So much good stuff. Mm. What do I want? I don't want any one of these, but I want stainless steel. I think it's ceramic. Oh, yeah. mm. Let's see. Huh? What do I need today? It's fun to look though. Mm. Yeah. this little mini kit. It's $8 for all this. Amazing. What do you think? Yeah? No. Okay. But we actually came here for bullets and primers and more bullets. So that's what we're actually gonna get instead of just daydreaming about everything else. <sighs> Let's get out of here before we spend more money. Okay, this is day four, 365 survival. We were doing some errands this morning. Um, first we went to Academy and then we always spend way too much at Academy. So way too much time money everything there we go you can actually see me I'm not a white blob okay so now we're I'm trying to so I'm trying to make fruit leather and I thought Academy would have those little round things that you could put in the dehydrator we already have a dehydrator I can make fruit leather in the oven I just don't want to so I'm trying to find that's the last resort to put it in the oven so we'll see if we find it Walmart was a bus we couldn't find the correct parchment paper or couldn't find, basically I'm looking for like a flat round thing to go in the uh, dehydrator so that I could actually put like fruit on it and won't fall through the holes of the original. So, anyway, um, it was a total bucks on everything. One more never has anything. Nope. Okay, so... Um, we were running around today to find something for the dehydrator in which I'd be able to, um, because normal dehydrators have holes in them because they're made for jerky and oxygen and all that, but with the jerky, I mean, sorry, with the fruit leather, you just want to, you know, it's fruit, so it'll fall through the holes, <laughs> so we can't really do that. Um, so the other method is through the oven, and you just put the oven at 170, uh, you grind up all the berries in a mixer, and then you put some honey in it, and then you put it on a, uh, co a cooking sheet with some parchment paper, and then you just let it go for six to eight hours, so now our oven is occupied for six to eight hours, and it's 12, 10 right now, so kind of sucks, but I think we'll make do. It's always the last one. Ugh. Whew. Done. Okay. Now, we gotta do some reloading stuff. 
Yeah, there's uh, no powder. No, uh, this powder works. I guess we need powder. That kind of helps. Looking at kinks with the reloader, but I think we mostly got it now. Punching at the primer. Okay, and that nice little kink. open. Okay, now I put the bullet in. Obviously we have no powder in it now. I'm just kind of testing it out. And then we crimp. And then we crimp it again for the outside edges. And then voila! The bullet. Nine millimeter. Yep, looks good. So, I've been meaning to make a friend's dog collar for a long time. Well, a dog collar for my friend's dog. And uh, I just thought, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about um, creating habit. Um, it can be really stressful to think about, you know, everything that you have to do for prepping. You know, and, and we didn't just like, it wasn't just like magic, you know, one day we were all prepared and ready, you know. I mean, it actually took us a while to get into that habit. But I found something that um, makes me really excited to prep. And that's, uh, I love gear. I love like um, all t types of prepper gear, you know. Like I'll just collect gear for no reason. <laughs> and a lot of the gear like I don't even use. I just think if it's cool, I like it and I collect it. And that's my thing, you know, maybe, maybe your thing is collecting, um, you know, different types of non-perishable foods, or uh, maybe your thing is planning, you know, making really good escape plans, or maybe your thing is uh, just being a leader and being that person that your family or your friends can rely on to, um, to say, hey, we're going to go here, we're going to do this. So it's, it's really important to find your strengths and to work off of those strengths. Because otherwise, um, prepping will be very boring for you. And uh, I actually just lost track of where I was. Maybe I should rewind the video. No. When I do that, I just kind of do the, the knot. I always forget. There, I did it. Ah, okay. Um, so anyway. Find something that you're interested in when it comes to prepping. Um, you don't have to be interested in every single aspect, except if you're prepping by yourself. If you're prepping by yourself, I think I just did the wrong knot. <laughs> if you're prepping by yourself, um, no, I think I did it right. The knot's over there, isn't it? I get so confused so easily whenever I'm doing a, a paracord bracelet. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, anyway, so just, you know, creating habit is really hard, but in the prepper world, you know, you do have to create that habit and you have to create, you know, some sort of routine in order for you to constantly be prepping. Like I said, we were not preppers straight from the get-go. You know, it took us a while to create that habit. So no one's saying that you have to be master prepper to begin with. Um, so, you know, I've actually been needing to make this dog collar for like ever. But uh, we all have our, our downfalls and I don't know, just kind of rambling now. Anyway, I gotta focus and finish this, so. Alright, and uh, dog collar finished. This is for a friend, but it was supposed to be about the size of his neck. Uh, and it, it's a little loose around his neck. It should be good for uh, her dog's neck. But uh, this is about 14 inches, and there you go. Ready for a dog's neck. So, now I'm gonna work on. Uh, Maybe a couple prototypes for Armed Rogue, and uh, we'll see where the day goes. Right? Just sorted through this. Nine, whole bunch of two, two, three. Some random fly fires over here. Live bullets there. 
And then we're taking out all the primers of our line here. We got done to fill in stuff. While we are waiting for brass to uh, clean up in the tumbler, um, it's been about six and a half hours since I put this in here and uh, it's still pretty tacky. Like it's, you know, it's still pretty, uh, I, I can see prints. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not ready quite yet, but it is getting there and uh, it looks, it smells really good. And that actually looks really good. So pretty excited. Got a way to keep me on your side. You give me clothes for love that I can't hide. For you, I know I'd even try to turn the tide. You love me so satisfying. I walk the line. <laughs> what miles? You don't like it? You don't like it. Today. We got some reloading to do. This was day four. Bye.